everyone and welcome back to Books and Brushes. Today we're going to be mixing the primary colors to create skin tones, so let's jump right in. Hey everyone, so today we are going to be making skin tones using our primary colors. So, this is going to be a really fun project, but there's a little bit of theory that goes behind this. This here is a color wheel. And in our basic color wheel, we have our three primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. Now, if you mix these colors in different combinations, you can make every other color. But if you mix all three together, you can make brown. And if you add white or more of blue or red or yellow, you can make different skin tones. So today that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be mixing our primary colors, also adding maybe whites or blacks to lighten it or darken it to be making different skin tones. So you're gonna be taking your paint. I have three different paint brushes so I don't actually mix the colors together in their separate um, areas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take little bits of each color. So I'm gonna take my red, and try and make them equal colors, so equal amounts. I'm not gonna put too much blue or too much yellow or too much red. I want to try and make it equal. So there we go. We have our three primary colors beside each other. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna mix. So just mix these colors in your palette all together and you should get a shade of brown okay so let's put down the first shade of brown that we have okay now if that's not our skin tone what you need to do is add some of the other colors to create that so some people might have a bit more of a yellow undertone to their skin so i'm going to add some more yellow and mix it up and there you go, you have another shade of brown. So some people also might have a bit more of a red undertone to their skin. So I'm gonna mix that up. And there you go, again, you have a different shade of brown. Some people might have a bit more of a blue undertone to their skin and that should give you another shade of brown. Now, some people might be darker or lighter than these browns. So to lighten a color, all you need to do is add the color white or the shade white. So I'm just gonna take my clean brush like that. And I'm gonna mix it up and it's gonna lighten the color. Now, this looks a little bit gray to me. So if it looks a little bit gray, and our skin isn't gray, you might need to add a warmer color. So a warmer color would be either a yellow or a red. So I'm gonna add a bit more red to this. And I'm gonna add a bit more yellow. Okay, and I'm gonna mix it up. And here we have another lighter kind of tan shade. Now, if your skin is even lighter than that, you're gonna need to add more white. So your job is to mix these colors with your classmates or whoever you're doing this project with and try and find your skin color, okay? So you, it takes a lot of work, but it's also a lot of fun. So I'm just gonna put a bit more white right there I'm gonna add just a little bit of the paint because some people might have really, really light skin too, right? And you're just gonna keep adding different levels of the paint to figure out what your skin tone is. So I'm just gonna mix, mix, mix. And when you think maybe you got it, you know, put it up to your hand, see which one is the closest to you and draw your portrait. Then you can fill it in with your skin color and your hair color 
And there you go, you have your own skin tone portrait painting. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If you did like it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And if you'd like to share your work with me, head over to my Instagram and share it with me there. I'd love to see what you guys are doing. Hope you all have a great day. See you next time. Bye.